Oh, that's pretty much it. This game has a incredible, incredible story. <laughs> How's the audio? Uh, everything sound okay? Alright, well, it sounds like we're just about to be ready here, so uh, whenever you want to give us the countdown, just then. Alright, cool. Um, sure, uh, on three, I will give it to you. So, three, two, one, go. Alright, so this is uh, King Kong 2. Uh, there is no King Kong 1 for the uh, Famicom, so uh, don't go looking for it. This game is based on the uh, sequel to the 1976 uh, remake of King Kong. Uh, the name of that movie was called uh, King Kong Lives, so uh, you can look it up. It's... But um, basically... We're Kong, and uh, we need to save our girlfriend, so... Uh, basically, I just went through World 1, and uh, I took a warp. So the game is very non-linear. <laughs> you can just uh, go wherever you want, and... Um, what I want to do is pick up these power-ups. This is a speed potion. Uh, you need that to go fast, so... We're gonna pick up as many as we can. And uh, I'm gonna use my rocks here. Uh, that's another important weapon that Kong has. He has his fists, which uh, aren't very powerful to be honest, but uh, once you power up the rocks, uh, we'll be using that uh, majority of the time. Uh, the big RNG factor in this game are the drops, so you can get um, ammo drops or health drops. Um, messing up this boss really badly. Uh, okay, we'll try to take it safe. This boss has a good hitbox. <laughs> Basically, if you're just to the right of it, it, um, it won't hit you with its flamethrower, so... Uh, I hope you like that screen there, where it says I love Lady Kong, because you're going to see it a bunch, and it's my favorite screen, so... <laughs> That's the uh, best part of the game. Uh, so that was the Stage 3 boss. Uh, that's probably one of the toughest bosses early on. That power-up I got right there, that powers up the rocks that I throw, so uh, that's very important to grab. So now we're at a marine military base. <laughs> There are tanks and machines shooting at me. I don't know what these are. They're blue Cobras, I guess. Okay, good. I need, um, I need rocks to fight this boss. The Blaster Master boss. So every time you defeat a boss and collect that key, uh, that gives you full health again. There it is again. I love Lady Kong. So we're out of this area. That was uh, area 5. Now we're back in the beginning. <laughs> but we're significantly powered up, so uh, we can just fly right through this area without stopping. Got all those uh, speed potions and everything, so it's, we can move through this area with a lot more speed. This is another warp that we can just uh, warp to another part of the uh, of the map, and we, now we have star power. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna farm these rocks. So, yeah, we're getting pretty good luck with the drops. This boss is a hermit crab, I guess. Looks very funny. Ow. Okay. He's in a bad spot. <laughs> I hate it when he goes down there. 
but as you can see, the bosses, uh, they're not very hard once you, like, get all the power-ups and stuff like that. Uh, there are a lot of hazards in the way as well, like, um, these fire bars that are spinning around and just a lot of enemies in general. King Kong has, like, a really great jump. It's, uh, like shakes the floor and everything and it does damage so uh, sadly that only is effective on like small enemies so so this is a uh, world four yeah so we're in world four and we're just gonna warp to the boss some bad luck there and the spider uh, webbed me a couple of times. Uh, so I'm collecting these keys to uh, break into the, uh, I guess, prison area where they're keeping Lady Kong. But uh, if you've seen the any percent run of this game, uh, you will find that the keys are not very, they're not necessary. <laughs> so, but this is the all bosses category, so I'm just gonna stick with the plan. Get to see more of the game and hear more of this uh, great music. This is the only track, and it's the best track, actually. So. Uh, now we're in Sea World. Shoutouts to uh, Orca. boss is uh, very unusual. <laughs> the, it's hurt box is like to the right of it, so that's where you need to hit it. Uh, we got some bad luck, so we got to farm again. There we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, you want uh, at least 30 rocks leaving this area. So now we're in the mountains, in the Himalayas, but we're just gonna warp right out because we need to go to Vegas. So now we're in Vegas. And we're gonna grab this power up. Again, powering up my rocks. these trucks. Hopefully we can marry ammo. We got a little bit of ammo. That's good. So now we're gonna go back to the mountains. Into the Himalayas. Try to be careful here. It's treacherous. If you fall into these pits, uh, you die. So that was a dragon of some sort, I guess. So you'll notice, like, uh, King Kong flashes uh, every time you go through a screen transition. So, um, so now we're in New York. So every time you go to uh, another screen, you have like a, a brief amount of invincibility. Helpful for getting past certain enemies. I was a giant hornet or yellow jacket. <laughs> I don't know. It was a giant bee. That was the last of the um, of the the keys that we need to collect. So that will be the last of that boss, that type of boss that you will see. So now we're going to go into the underworld. You can tell it's the underworld because the music is all dark and scary. Ow. Took 
some damage there. So uh, there's just like a, an entrance there that you're supposed to know to go into, and that one there too. <laughs> cool. uh, we need to farm a little bit more. Yeah, I just got a little bit unlucky with the drops. So. That's too bad. So this is the door that you need to open with all those keys. And now we're at the final boss. They're like football players of some sort. We did it. <laughs> so we uh, saved the girl, and uh, that's King Kong too. That that sure was. I'm I'm gonna assume time is when you you go into the door. So it was like a ten twenty. Oh sweet. <laughs> We got the good ending. Thanks for uh, watching, guys. I hope you all are enjoying JRTA uh, number three. And uh, stay tuned for more speedrun action coming your way. Yeah, thanks for doing the run for us, Justin. That was, um, was a video game about King Kong, I can say that much. <laughs> Guys, coming up next, uh, we have another very nonsensical game. It's one I love. It's one I can't say the name of properly. Uh, we're going to be having Crash 6351 playing B V B V V V V V V V V V V Hey, Crash, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Just a little tired. Uh, well, I think we all are. It's early in the morning, but you know what? That's a great time for speedruns. Get the blood flowing. Every time is great. Oh, all right. Well, I'm I'm excited for some V D V V V V. Expect disappointment. <laughs> I, I can never keep track of how many V's it's supposed to be. I know it's six, but I mean, it's, it's hard to say six V's. Don't worry, there's like a, bi a billion ways to pronounce this game's name. I believe the proper way is just go V... The world will never know. Surely it's just called WWW. Of course. Or is the name just Spikes? <laughs> There's a lot of spikes in the game, I know that. Alright, well we're going to take a minute to get set up here. I'll take a minute to plug what we're doing. This is JRTA 